Hello, um, I was um, trying to pick up that song by Tom Mish, It Runs Through Me, which is a really nice tune that I've known for a while and I picked it up and then I just decided to check the tutorials after I picked it up by ear and I realized that um, some tutorials overcomplicate things and once you know some really common patterns in bossa nova especially in jazz in general those patterns come back a lot and you will try to understand the role of each chord and instead of um, sticking to the notes and making them over complicated so this is the reason why i wanted to to show that today so we've got a song which is in b minor right so we if you want to pick it up by ear maybe we listen to the bass that's the first bass line. So it's B minor. The second chord is, is D. So is it minor? No, it's not. It's major. Yes. And so we've got major. We can have major seven or we can have dominant seven. So basically this is it. Like you decide if it's major or minor. We get the bass, find out if it's major or minor. Then you think, well, is it gonna be a seventh? I mean, if it could be without seven, right? Like, okay. In that case, in jazz, bossa, there's often um, an extension, first with a seventh, and then maybe with an added color, right? But it's a color, it's not that important. And sometimes you can pick the color by the melody. So anyway, carrying on. Uh, so it's a D, it's seven, right? But then you hear in the melody, something like that right so this is actually once you want to if you really want to get deeper it's a 13 right because it's a sixth but there's already a seven so technically it's a 13th so it's an extended chord dominant seven with a 13 but actually it's not you just you don't really play the chord as a 13 you, you add it right you add the 13th extension um, and then we've got a G so again the G is major in that case if you do the same um, approach, you will realize, well, is it, is it dominant seven? Not really. Is it major seven? Yes, it is major seven. So we've got G major seven. Same, you can pick it up from the bass first. And then we've got the uh, F sharp. Again, and this, this, this bar is divided into two. The first time the F sharp is gonna be dominant, it's gonna be dominant seven, but with a 13th then with a flat 13 again you can say it's just an F sharp dominant 7 and then the extensions follow the you know the the the, the colors basically the chords they follow the colors or the melody and again this is very common in bossa nova right you get right very common so that's it, there's only four chords. So it's B minor, seven, D seven, we can do it like that. G major seven, F seven with the 13th, and a flat 13th. So that's it, very simple. Ask uh, any questions that you have. Um, I just wanted to share that that don't overcomplicate things. Focus on the bass, the minor or major, and then the extensions. Is it seven? Is it dominant seven? Is it major seven? If it's in the case of major, um, that's it. Have fun. <laughs>